Yeah, I'll invite K too. I didn't invite you, Mason, but that kind of be weird. That's fine. Parties aren't really my thing. Yeah, obviously, you're a fucking cat person. Hey, friends, this is something I peeps you, and today we'll be playing more Turtle Head Unmasked. The last time we left off, uh, Emma told us to go to the pool to go see Harriet. We also still have a crowbar. Anyway, to the pool. Uh, the boys' locker room is jammed. Sh Unjam the, the, the door with the crowbar. I can go see the boys' locker room. Uh huh. Let me just make sure I'm recording because this might be the end of it and it's gonna be great. So if I'm not recording, I'll be sad. <laughs> Unjam the door with the crowbar. Harriet, I'm coming. Oh no. Things were so different back then. Everything was just so much better. She was even happier then too. But if those times were really that great, then why do I have all this guilt? That night. Oh my! Huh? Why are you wearing those? You can't play manhunt with me in he heels. Sorry Trevor, I can't play tonight. I've got plans. What? You never told me about that. Where are you going? The spring dance with Harriet. Oh, can she play Manhunt? Maybe. We'll see when we get back. I got it. Hello. Oh. It's for you. Yeah, duh. They called the landline my room, you blockhead. Hello. Hey Emma, we gotta meet in the graveyard. We gotta meet at the graveyard now, huh? What happened? Garrett, Garrett, Garrett told me he found a giant footprint in the dirt there. It's gotta be Bigfoot. It just gotta. We have to check it out. Since when do you trust and even Garrett says? I have plans tonight, anyways. He sounded real certain about it this time. We both know he can't act for shit. Don't seriously chicken out on me now. We can make a groundbreaking discovery, Emma. I'm no coward, and I ought to see you at the graveyard in half an hour, hun. But Blair! Fine, I'll be there. You better not be messing with me. Don't worry, this is going to be great. Bring the camera. Yeah, yeah. What was that? It was Blair. I have to meet her at the graveyard. Weren't you going on a date with Harriet? Hey, don't tease me. It wasn't a d date. I'm sure if I explain what happened tomorrow, she'll understand. Heck, if this was a real deal, I she'll be impressed. I, I just know it. Oh. Can I come? Okay, but you're holding the ghost hunting equipment this time. What? Huh. Anyway, Emma's pansexual. <laughs> it's so cute. That night. I realize now it meant more to you than what I thought. I'll make it up to you if it's the last thing I do. Oh no. Oh no no no. It's a giant locker here. It looks like there's more enough room for a person to fit inside. Are you in such a way to have to hide some more? Ooh, a save point. Ew, it's covered in wet residue. It sure is humid in here. Yep. Okay, there's a blood trail. Let's not go to the blood trail. How about that? Smith Lane. Oh. Harriet. Harriet probably dead. <laughs> Sorry. Harriet, stay with me. Harriet. Oh no. He's coming. I I gotta hide her now. Realistically, I don't think there's enough time for me to do that. But since I can save, I don't think it's a good idea to put her in here, huh? Just stay in there, Harriet, for now. I gotta leave him away from here. Yeah, he wouldn't go to the girls' but the toilet, toilet. Ah! Weak. Oh my god. Oh my god, I am weak. <laughs> Alright. Time to start running.
Oh my god, there is trash. How fast can my fingers guide me? Oh my god. What the shit am I supposed to do? Oh. <laughs> Jesus, you stop being so fast right now. Ah, oh, shit. Okay. Ah, oh, man. Oh my god, no. Ah, oh, shit. Oh. Emma ran, <laughs> uh, Emma ran out of the school as fast as her legs would let her. Her thoughts raised, but she stayed persistent as the masked man chased after her. She didn't have to run for very long, though, as the police arrived on the scene in no time flat. It seemed Kay must have already got a hold of them. Harriet and Mason were taken to the hospital as Emma explained her story to the cops to see and Yes, I saved my friends. Emma could hardly focus on telling her story though, as there was a sinking feeling in her chest. Would Harriet and Mason be okay? They'll be fine. At least Mason will be fine. I, I don't know about Harriet. Later. <clears throat> the hospital. Harriet. Hey, at least she's alive. Oh, Mason's here too. Oh, what a coincidence to see you here. Mason, why are you here? I was worried about Harriet if that wasn't already obvious. Same here. So, how are your cats? <laughs> she hasn't woken up yet? No, she has. The nurse just said she was taking a nap. Good, she's alive. She um she was obviously hurt really bad, but apparently she isn't expected to have any problems long term. After she's all healed up, she's good. Well, that's a relief. You girls are so young. Any long term injuries would be tragic. How about you? Haven't seen you for a bit. Could be better. You look fine to me. Well, I mean she looks fine, but in her head it's kinda messed up. Um it's not that big of a deal. <laughs> it's nothing physical. Oh, that's debatably worse. I'm not sure if I mentioned it to you, but my fiancé is a psychologist. She knows the situation very well, and I'm sure she would be happy to help you. Yeah, we could, <clears throat> we could hang out more. Like friends in our real identities now, right? Hey, look. You did great. What? Harriet wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you. I probably wouldn't be either. Well, you'll see later in another timeline I would totally abandon you. Alright, your knee. Your knee? I thought it was your arm. Alright, your knee. How's... It healed up, no problem. But look, you save our lives, Emma. It's a huge accomplishment. It's not every day a civilian saves an officer. Oh, you know, I didn't do much. I feel really weird getting all this credit. The fact that you stayed, as unwise as there was, ended up working out. Simon's in custody, Harriet's healing up. Simon, that bitch. <laughs> Though, I'm very sorry to hear that you're not doing too well. I imagine all of this has been hard on you. It's not that bad. You're just weak. Yeah, you've been doing terrible, Emma. Yeah, I need help. Good job, Emma. Hey, before you go, could I have that doctor's number? Not a problem. Yes, Harriet's waking. <laughs> mm hmm. Harriet. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> Sleep alright. How are you feeling? Yeah, I'd imagine. 
The nurse said you'll be able to discharge soon, Harriet. Isn't that exciting? You can go home, and you know what? We're going to have some of the best hangouts ever. Oh, oh, and we're going to have a party. Yes, we can go to the dance with Harriet, and then we can finally go to the dance with Harriet instead of abandoning her, because Blair doesn't even exist anymore. Yeah, a party. We're going to celebrate the fact that we're not dead, you dingus. I suppose that's a valid reason for celebration. Yeah, I'll invite Kay too. I didn't invite you, Mason, but that kinda be weird. That's fine. Parties aren't really my thing. Yeah, obviously, you're a fucking cat person. Ooh, what if it's a slumber party? I can get Trevor to set the, the fire pit. Maybe do a little ghost hunting at the local graveyard? <laughs> or we can take a break from ghost hunting. And maybe, um... Would you like to do something with me sometime? We can just go out to dinner or the movies or something. Just two of us, you know. To sort of make up for some things. I'm really sorry I hurt you, Harriet. I didn't realize how much that dance meant to you. So I want to make it up to you however I can. You're so brave and strong. And I've been awful to you. I love you, Harriet. Like, a lot. I... I broke your heart and I... Emma. No, Harry is so cute. <laughs> That's so cool. That's so sweet. I forgive you. Oh, My heart. No, this is so great. I feel so great. This is the best thing ever. Then they're having a slumber party and it's so great. <sighs> This is a great. Is that K? And who is that? Is it you have? I don't. Yep. Blair got in. Yeah, she's dead. Who cares? I, d I never liked her anyway. <laughs> Good job on those people who did the voices, though. I w wish I could do voices <laughs> as great as them. And I. Oh yeah, I heard Harriet's voice. Her voice was really cute, and it's like it made it made me feel so sad. <laughs> Is that Harriet and Emma? I didn't know Harriet was so short. <laughs> Emma gave me short person vibes. Oh my god! That's so... Uh, that's so cute. Oh, they finally get to have the dance they deserve together. It's so great. So good. And uh, yeah, I, I want to do the other endings too. You want to meet Pie Office? It's recommended you make a separate save in here as there's no other way to reach it or other than completing the entire game. Oh. I'll make a save. Yeah. Yeah, enter the comedy area. Uh-huh. Comedy with a K, am I right? I'll save it on 20. Oh. Hey, you found the debug room. I'm Dev Andy and I made all the endings and death CGs. I love thinking about how to make Turtle Head look intimidating on the death scenes and adding the finishing touch to each painting. Working with teammate Pai was an experience, aha. Uh -huh. They helped me with creating the ending scenes and getting me through really bad art blocks. Bye, I guess. Yeah, bye. Hello again, or hello for the first time. If I'm not seeing you back from our demo, I'm Mar. Oh, you're the one that did the cheats for the endings and all that. Thanks. I was too dumb to read, to understand them. <laughs> I also go by Dorkizoid, or just Dork Online. I'm the director of this project here. I did the sprites, animation, eventing, and mapping. I also got to boss around the other dev. That was pretty fun. <laughs> Anyways, thank you so much for giving our game a chance. I appreciate more than you know. The devs and I worked really hard on this game, so I'm happy to see you follow this journey to the end. This project all started humbly, humbly with my friends and I playing the original Turtle Head at the sleepover and getting really inspired to recreate it. We zipped a little demo together in a couple of months. We really didn't expect it to go anywhere. I honestly thought the project was dead on arrival since I doubted the original creator would- Oh, I doubted the original creator would take too kindly to a group of teenagers and first time game devs. But surprisingly, he seemed pretty enthusiastic about it. He even played our demo. It was stunning to see it being played by a prominent streamer, especially someone I idolize so much. 
Working with him has been a delight, but I'd be lying if I said the extra attention didn't make me a little nervous for a number of reasons. One being that there's more people to disappoint if I mess up. So I knew my devs and I had to absolutely kill it. I poured my heart out into every aspect of this project. The result? I'm content with it. The game came out alright. Alright! This is like one of the best games I've ever played and I've played... I've... I've played... I've played, um, uh, what is it? Resident Evil. <laughs> I'll leave it up to you to decide if I really succeeded. I like the things the other dev worked on more, and the ideas the bug testers threw out there, but maybe I'm just a little self-critical. At the end of the day, I'm super honored to have worked with so many talented people and be acquainted with Pika, Pika Spray through the course of this project. Despite some unhealthy work habits I picked up, the development process is something. I'm going to treasure it for years to come. Thank you so much again for playing our game and stopping by to see what I had to say. I hope you all stick around for more meat pie projects. We have a bunch lined up already. I have to check out if meat pie has any more uh, games. I just have to check them out. <laughs> hey, uh, Gummy Stand here. Just kidding. It's Go Gummy San Gummy San, the lead artist for the CGs. CGs? Is it CGs or CGS? CGs and character talk at sprites. If you were wondering about that. The sprites are amazing, I just have to say. Reimagining existing character designs in my style certainly was a challenge, but also a fun pastime for little me. Especially when working together especially when working together with other devs for completely new designs. Everyone worked hard and I mean real hard for this game to come to fruition English. To think it all started with a sleepover where we played the original to the hit game. And then one of us really had the audacity to say, this should get a remaster or remake. We had the tools, so why not do it ourselves? It couldn't be that hard, right? Whip up a quick demo and BAM! This whole project started getting off their training wheels and into the radar of Mr. Peak Spray. So in the midst of writing this and at the time of this game's release, I thank you all. Our bug, t our bug testers, our friends, our volunteers, and especially you. Thanks a whole bunch for playing this. You deserve a mealworm. Thanks! Hey, I'm... St I'm Stephanie Spooky. I worked on all the menu items and CGs. Also, most of you probably didn't see them. <laughs> yeah, I probably didn't. Okay, in Harriet's playthrough, I didn't really look at them, but in Emma's playthrough, I tried to. I, I also designed Blair Gardener and created the Cosmetology Room Puzzle. Cosmetology room puzzle. The hair things. Being able to work with an RPG Maker game was a really cool experience. RPG Maker games have been a big part of my life since I was a kid. They're even the foundation of my 8 year long relationship with the head dev Dorkizoid. Being able to have a hand in the creation process of one of these games is just more than I could ever have asked for. I don't want to drag this on for too long, but I'm really proud of everyone who had a hand on this project. Good job everyone! P.S. Mason is smelly. Cool. Good. Okay. Oh, those are nice. And I'm pretty sure this, the these things at the bottom is like the original game sprites. As I said, I've seen it a little. And I don't know if I will play it. I might one day. Trevor, Tr Trevor Hawkins, created by Goldmees on Sex Mail, H10. This is the officer that worked with Mason. Angelina Brooks, created by Dorcas on Sex Female, H26. Blair Gardner, created by Stephanie Spooky. Sex Female, H15 at the time of death. K Brown by Goldmees on Sex Female, 16. Marie Marina Lily, created by Pekka Spray, redesigned by Dorkazoid. Sex Female, age 25. Turtlehead, Simon Dale. Yeah, I've already known that Simon Dale. Created by Pekka Spray, re redesigned by Dorko Kena. <laughs> Sex Female, age 24. How old, is she? How old is she? The music is gone. Oh, okay, 25. And he's 24, okay. 
Mason Kemderberg, he's like 27. Created by Pika Spurry, design guy Gomi san. Sex male, age 27. Emma Hawkins, created by Pika Spurry, redesigned by Gomi san. Age female, 16. Uh, age female? What? <laughs> Harriet Lily, created by Pika Spurry, redesigned by Gomi san. Sex female, age 16. Okay. I am Pika Spray, the creator of the original Turtle Head game. I hope you enjoyed playing the remake. I had a ton of love put into it. It's been amazing to see how Team Meat Pie handled my work and creation. Handled my world and characters. When I was first approached about having Turtle Head remade, I wasn't sure what to think and was hesitant about the idea. But when I was shown a demo of the opening portion, I immediately knew that the project was in good hands. Truth be told, my involvement with the development was a bit minimal. I decided to leave a lot of the new story up to them and gave them a lot of freedom to do what they wanted. Of course though, major plot elements and direction to a certain character were still approved by me, and I did offer input for certain scenes. However, I did end up offering a lot of unused concept to the team, and I was really happy to see more of these old ideas implemented into the new game. Did you know, several years ago, I had a rough idea for a sequel to original Turtle Head that would have starred K as the protagonist. Although the idea never went anywhere. It's nice that K gets to have more of a role in this game instead. I remember being very excited when Gomi-san showed me the design for her. Also, did you know the voice of Turtlehead was- That's impressive! When I was making the original game, it actually took me hours to figure out how I wanted him to sound and how to const consistently do the laugh. That is actually impressive because he doesn't sound human. I mean that as a compliment. And like, yeah, impressive straight up. And for this remake, I had to relearn it all again to record some new audio for new scenes. Do you want to hear more fun facts about this game? Yes. Good. Because this is the only opportunity I get to share these things. Let's talk about the rest of the cast. So fun fact about Mason, one of my biggest regrets with the original was the twist that he was an undercover detective. I always felt that it could have been handled much better and that I dropped more hints about it early on. Ah, initially I wanted this twist to be completely changed in the remake, but the team convinced me to keep it. In my opinion, they did a much better job building on the concept. I'm glad they didn't listen to me on that one. I feel like there is a lot more that can be done with Mason's character now. I think he deserves to star in a game of his own. Anyway, Mason. I kinda liked it. I just wonder how the hell did he pass for a, for a junior, basically. He's 27. Anyway, he has 5 cats, which is great. Moving on to Emma, she was always one of my favorite creations. I always liked the idea of the happy, supportive character being, re being placed in a horror setting. When a character like that is put under pressure, you can tell that their love for their friends is genuine, not some kind of act. But you know, a lot of people didn't like Emma in the original game. Everyone will always call her useless and make fun of her for hiding while Harriet explores the school. Some people even expected a plot twist where she would turn out to be evil. <laughs> the thing is that in Harriet's playthrough, I also did kind of expect that. <laughs> Wait, that wasn't what I intended at all. Anyways, last we have Harriet. Harriet was always intended to be a silent protagonist who was implied to naturally be quiet and shy. But I always felt like the idea should have been executed much better, and I wish I could have had her showing more emotion in the original game. For this new game though, I like the team's idea for handling Harriet's character, and I hope you all like how she was in the final game too. Being the protagonist of my very first game, I always secretly hoped that Harriet would one day be as popular as other RPG horror, pro horror protagonists. Who knows? Maybe it could still happen. But anyhow, I think I've taken enough of your time. Once again, I hope you enjoyed this game. I'm very grateful to everyone that contributed to its development and who took the time to play it through. I'm really proud to have been a part of this project and hope that someday I can do something like this again. Aw, that's so nice. What about- can I interact with these? Oh god, it's a dead body. Original Marina Sprite. Yeah, she's kind of corpse. Turtle Head. Original Turtle Head Sprite. When I saw the original game Turtle Head, I was like, damn. They really changed it, huh? <laughs> I like the change. Uh, not that I didn't like the original. It's just the new one is a good change. You know.
Original Mason Sprite, original Emma, original Harriet. Yeah. There's a door here, and there's also something at the bottom. I should- I wanna see this. Can I- oh, meat pie... mission statement. We strive to make high quality RPG maker content, but we aren't all work and no play. I mean, what's the fun of a project if we don't make each other laugh at least once? With Turtle Head, we especially had a lot of inside jokes and little fun things happen. Would you like to be a part of some of them? The Yu-Gi-Oh story to hit Kenneth Mason story? Not right now. Uh, Yu-Gi-Oh story. Oh my god, I have to read so much. My poor th voice. At the beginning of development, devs Andy and Gomi were obsessed with Yu-Gi-Oh. And I mean obsessed, I mean like obsessed. It was to the point where I couldn't even talk on our nightly calls because it was nothing but Yu-Gi-Oh. Specifically, they liked to make jokes about the character Set Seto Kai Kaiba. We would do group concept art and I look over at what they'd be doing and boom, Seto Kaiba. I would be trying to discuss some ideas and boom, Seto Kaiba. I would check our turtle head group chat and boom, Seto Kaiba freaking Kaiba. Got to the point where I was working on the Harriet run through and I broke down sobbing on call because I couldn't handle Yu-Gi-Oh talk anymore. Now it's become an inside joke among the devs that Yu-Gi-Oh was a genuine roadblock in our progress of the game. Impressive. <laughs> yes, yes, I want more jokes. Uh, hit cannons. The group obviously had to make some stupid little hit cannons of all the characters, so might as well shove them here. Uh, yes, I love hit cannons. Harriet has a black bunny named Friend. Oh, that would be so cute. On the first day of Mason's undercover work, Emma called Mason a loser and and pensed him. Oh no. Would Emma do something like that though? Garrett, Ger Garrett, the anime club leader, is the creepy kid in school everyone kind of knows but doesn't like. He of he's often seen as just standing at a wall in a girl's bathroom. If Total Head took place in modern day, Simon would rant about Marina on incel forums. Yes. Uh, Mason story. This one is something that persisted since the very beginning of development. Devs Gomi and Andy were often jokingly call Mason names like ugly or smelly. <laughs> that promoted Devs, Fafanin, and I to call him hot and attractive to combat them. Ew. Well, turns out that ended up being like a four month long feud between the devs. It was all. It was all a war on our nightly calls as we debated the attractiveness of this fictional character. Finally, the feud ended when Andy caved and asked Pika Spray himself if Mason was beautiful or not. He said that he was, and that in and in that moment, Pika Spray unknowingly ended the biggest fight between the devs. Well, if he's reading this, he knows now. Thanks for being on my side, Pika Spray. But uh, Stephanie moved to the dark side, so we rush, so we rush, so we rush you again. You know damn well he's like. Oh, okay. Main characters, these three, right? He's the only boy, and usually boy characters are more popular. Anyway, what's this? Oh, it was kind of creepy, but kind of cute. Hi, I'm Devin, aka Suya three eight three eight. I'm a comic artist that was mostly just providing motivation, motivational doodles, and mor and mor moral support. Until I thought it would be a great idea for me to join beta testing three days before release. No regrets, it was fun. Thank you Team Meat Pie for creating this wonderful remaster and letting me be a part of the community. If the opportunity ever comes again, be that in a, an expansion of the Total Hit universe, a Team Meat Pie original game or another project by Pika Spray, it will be, I would be honored to help on any way I can. Now please let these girls hug and give Mason a raise. Yeah, Mason deserves a raise for, uh, for uh, dealing with Emma. This is Curzus no Curso no Sphere. He didn't provide a statement. Oh cool. Hello there, my name is Arashi. I'm one of the bug testers for Total Head and Mask. I'm also Team Meat Pie's bug magnet. As I found a majority of the bugs within this game. I broke the game in half looking for bugs in it as I had as I had a lot of time on my hands, and Harry and Emma had a few too little annoyances with me, ramming them both into everything. I found a game through Twitter and I played both at the time, demo and the original game. I really enjoyed playing both, so I joined the bug tester team and, I and, I and I'm glad I did. Working on the devs was definitely an experience and one that I will be repeating. 
I thoroughly enjoyed co combing through the game and looking for bugs and glitches. If you for some reason want to see more of me, my Twitter is at Arashi59? S9? I don't know. Why are you upside down? Yo, I'm Chika Ra, otherwise known as Parameriki. One of those bug testers of this here remaster. He they pronouns thanks. I've been watching Pika Spray's YouTube uploads fairly recently, and that's pretty much where I found about this project. Working with the team was interesting, to say the least. It was fun just interacting with people and such and such and such. I'm bad at putting thoughts into words. Sue me. Don't exactly have any projects to promote, but I'm a decent writer. I haven't really posted anything anywhere. But if you're interested for whatever reason, hit me up on Discord. Uh, that Japanese words. <laughs> Use the turtle head. Turtle head R? Remaxed? Remastered? Turtle head remastered. Server if you can't type it. Oh, you wanna know why I'm upside down? Uh. You know, I don't judge. Don't worry. You can be upside down. Hello, internet users. Wait, no, that's your line. I'm Demo Real, but you may know me as the janitor. Oh, Tian Henderson. I strike the gap between tester and dev and have been a part of this project since the very beginning in one way or another. Back in mid-July, when Dorkazoid asked me if they should go ahead with the idea of remaking the original Turtle Head, I was already really excited and have done my best to help wherever I can. It's been a great ride, and being able to help out has been incredibly fun. I was overjoyed when I was brought on as an editor, and it always makes me feel proud when I was the one being turned to for coding advice and the like. I'm super glad I've been able to help as much as I have over this year. Shout out to Team Meat Pie for doing a fantastic job. If you play all of this and are hungry for more lore, I wrote a canon fic that follows the, for the backstory of events in the form of transcribed audio logs. And if ending 9 made you cry, you're welcome. Oh my god, I forgot. Did I get ending 9? <laughs> this is Lord Redman. Didn't provide a statement. Okay, who are you? Well, hello, it's me, Yo Yo, the resident mom friend of the. <laughs> resident mom friend is here before you. I've been a long time Pika Spray fan and now a mod, as well as a lover of RPG horror games in general, so I was ecstatic to be able to join in and help Team Meat Pie with whatever I could on Turtlehead. It's been an amazing adventure. They're also creative and hardworking. You could not have asked for a better group for this project. Here's hoping I can continue working with them in the future, as well as to see where else their imaginations take them. I don't really have anything of my own to promote. Just watch Pika's Braid, Pray to the Hood, and uh, Mason is hot and I adore him. Good to know. Anyway, what's this door? Is this just leaving? This door is locked. There's no one. It says, come back when you have all nine endings. Okay, so. Wait. One, two, three, four, five. Six. Okay, six letters. Six numbers. Six something. Good job on me for saving here. Because I definitely want to come back and see the ending. Wait, painting of the boss. Okay. <laughs> this is fun. I definitely want to get all of the nine endings. Okay, this video is kind of short, but it has a lot of content. Because I finished Emma's route and then I read all of the things here. So, I think this is a good place to end this video. And I think I might have one last turtle head uh video just to get all of emma root endings because i have six of the endings so i have like three more to get and it shouldn't be that hard right so anyway if you enjoyed this video like comment subscribe do all those good stuff and i'll see you in my next video bye bye <laughs>